to own their own journey. So, and what I mean by that is that I have to be patient. So, because I want everything yesterday, and I demand everything yesterday, and I want them to be um, excellent yesterday, but they all have their own way of learning. They all have their own way of processing, and they all have their own sort of headspace that they need to grow into and be a person and be a human being. But, and be an actor. And I'm very as careful well. with how I choose my words and my vocabulary with the athlete. So um, I encourage them at every point in the game. I think that's really critical. Um, the other thing is that I am a huge believer of uh, the power of positive talk. And so and when I yes, you do have to point out the errors and all that kind of stuff. And, but I do not spend the majority of my time pointing that out to them. I point them in the direction that I want them mm -hmm. to go and, and respecting their minds and how you want them to work for you, right? And in the end, you're creating that positive feedback in their head so that when they get into an intense situation, they're going to be able to go to that as much as they possibly heard can. from almost every seminar that I've gone that an Olympic athlete has been, <laughs> regardless of what sport, um, come game time, it was all about that power of positive thinking. And there were rehearsals, and there were rehearsals, and there were rehearsals. And what they spoke, what they said to themselves in their self-talk all the time. So I'm very, very aware of that when I'm working with the kids. And um, 